Hi, my people. Trust God you are doing great. You are welcome back to Physique Court Fashion House channel. And uh, thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. And as many that are yet to subscribe, do so now. Thank you. Today, I'll be teaching you how to cut and sew a uh, bishop sleeve. And uh, it's going to be interesting and detailed. So watch to the end. Let's go. Now, to make your um, piece of sleeve, you measure the uh, your arm whole circumference. So I'm going to measure the arm whole circumference. You measure from the arm pit. You measure it round, or well, you can take it up from the shoulder. Yes, here we have a seventeen as our hammer circumference. So we are going to add one to hit for our seam allowance. So making it to be 18. So that 18 we are going to, when we place our fabric on fold, we're going to divide it by two. So which will give us nine. So now the fabric has been on fold, the fabric to use for our bishop uh, sleeve. So the length is a uh, 24. You know, it's long sleeve. It's 24. So that's uh, the general length of uh, the uh, sleeve, like long sleeve. It could be some are 23, some are 25. Or let's be, let's use a uh, 24. So the, then by seven and a half, I fold it by seven and a half because the person brand uh, harm is a uh, 14, I had the seam allowance. It's 13 rather, I had a seam allowance of one. So because if you divide 13 by, by two, it gives you six and a half, so plus one, seven and a half. Then I rule it down. So that is for this place. Now, to get the Hamo circumference, uh, which is a 18 divided by two, nine. So to get nine here, the fabric is already on fold. So I just place my tape just like this to achieve my nine. I mark the points I'm coming from. Then I just draw it. So how we have to check it again that the nine is still intact. Yes, so I have my my nine. So now, for the piece of sleeve now that we are, that our today's video is all about the damp parts. Assuming you are cu cutting your normal uh, sleeve, the basic sleeve, you will have to come in by like two, then slant it. But in this case now, you are going to add like six to this seven and a half. This seven and a half, we had like a, between five and six. So I'm adding like a five and a half to it. So assuming it's your normal sleeve, you come in, then slant it. But we are cutting a piece of sleeve. So as I've extended my fabric with a five and a half or thereabouts now. So I now connect it from this up part now. I connect it. Just like this. Yes. Then, from this down part now, I now come up with two. Two inches. I mark it. Then I use my French cuff to connect it. Just like this. I tell you, this is the easiest way to cut your piece of sleep. So that's all. I want to cut it now. Yeah. 
this damp part that was called this it so what you are going to cut now is the band to make our wristband now so you fold your fabric then you get five inches by five five inches here then by five Yes. So this is five inches by five inches on, on foot. When you open it, this is it. When you open it, it's 10 by five. What you are going to do with this is to now fold it into two, two equal parts. Then you high on it. You can put light uh, stay on it, very light one. So you can leave it. As, like this too. The next thing is to iron it now then. We now go and gather this place. We gather this one. After gathering it, we now fix this to it. So that's what we want to do now. You know, our wristband is a uh, 10 when you open it, five on foot, when you open it, 10. So that 10 is what you are trying to, to achieve here now. When you gather it, you measure it, whether it is 10 after gathering. So it's, it's less than, so I have to lose it a bit. I lose the gathers a bit. So, you ensure that what you are having after gathering it is a 10, yes. So we are good to go with this now. This is 10. This is what we are going to join our wristband to now. Now, we have gathered the damp part of our sleeve and this is the um, wristband. So we want to go and join it to heat. So you can see this is the simple and easy method to use for your piece of sleeve. So now I've joined the uh, wristband to the down part of our piece of sleeve. So you can see the end result. But also you can use a slash and spread method. If you want the down part of your uh, piece of sleeve to be fuller, to be more fuller than this. Even if you use a slash and spread method, you still end up to achieve the same uh, result. So after fixing it to your uh, dress, this is the way it looks. I'm sure you have learned a lot from this uh, video. So try and like, comment, share, and subscribe to Physical Thousand channel. Thank you.